uh, Coach Ken Miller. Uh, you got an, another fantastic game out of Kevin Durant, but it seems that these games are coming down to guys like on in game two. It was McGee and Livingston, and then your production from those two. And can you speak about the performance Jordan Bell had in just 12 minutes? Yeah, I mean, we're, we, you know, we're, we're not playing our bench as many minutes in this series um, as we have in the past, um, at least in the last few years. But uh, we're getting really good production uh, from uh, – Sean's had a tremendous series. Uh, Jordan Bell was really good tonight. I mean, we needed his athleticism and his ability to guard multiple positions. And, um, and JaVale gave us great minutes as well. So um, – you know, we've we've got uh, we've got a lot of depth. We've got a lot of guys who can play, and they're all chipping in. And but we should probably go back to Kevin Durant, shouldn't we? <laughs> that was amazing what he did out there tonight. Uh, some of those shots, um, I don't think anybody in the world can can hit those, but him, he was incredible. Barry um, News Group, uh, Steve, left. what did you think of Andre Iguodala's? Andre was really good. Uh, he gave us much needed minutes. Uh, you know, I didn't expect to play him 22 minutes. Um, one thing with Andre is that um, he's, he's not like most players in terms of needing rhythm uh, and needing minutes to get his conditioning back. He just never gets tired, even when he's been out two and a half weeks and hasn't really been running much at all. Uh, he's still able to, uh, to play through all that. and, and um, you know, he's a plus 14, typical Andre line. You, you might look at it and go, yeah, he had eight points and whatever. But, you know, he, he gives us another guy to guard LeBron, and he gives us an, another guy to settle us down and, you know, keep us on the right path. And, uh, Steve, can you just talk about uh, what exactly happened when you went back to the locker room right before the first half and um, how he's doing? Oh, what, how Andre was doing? I think he banged his other leg. Um, so I, I don't think it was the the, uh, the knee that had been injured. That was, that was the word I got. Second row on the left. Coach Kerr, Ron Potesta, the Sports Animal 1390 in Youngstown, piggybacking on uh, Kevin Durant's unbelievable for performance. Given the fact Steph Curry was 3 of 16 from the floor, 1 of 10 from three-point range, just how important was Durant's night given those numbers from Steph Curry? Well, this is, uh, you know, the, the beauty of this team and the luxury that we have of having, you know, multiple big-time scores. Um, you know, there's going to be nights like this for, for all of them. Um, you know, it, Steph was three for 16, one for 10, but as usual, he, he hit a big one. He always finds a way to make big plays even on his toughest nights. But, uh, you know, we uh, we got a lot of guys who can score and, and fill it up, and uh, they – they lift each other up if one of them's having a tough night. And uh, yeah, it's a it's pretty nice, pretty nice luxury as a coach, that's for sure. Tim on the left side yeah. standing. Tim Kawakami, the athletics team over here. At some point, did you just switch and just say, Kevin, we're going to initiate everything with you and maybe Steph get in the corner there and, and let's see what Kevin can do here? Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, we, um, we're obviously running a lot of screen and rolls. Um, and um, Steph was. Uh, was not making his shot, um, but Kevin got it rolling. So, you know, we just flipped it around and we had Steph set a couple screens for him. But, uh, you know, we basically just tried to initiate with Kevin and, you know, he made so many um, great difficult shots, but he also had seven assists and he's moving the ball. I just like the way he's attacking. Um, you know, he's not, not waiting around. He's, he's attacking right away on the catch and it's, it's devastating to, to have to guard that. Phil here in the front. Hey, Steve. Phil Barber, Santa Rosa, Press Democrat. Kevin Love really hurt you guys in the first half, rebounding and shooting. Seemed like second half, the team did a better job against him. What changed? Uh, I think our, our attention to detail on the glass got better. I think they had 10 offensive boards in the first half and only five in the second. Um, the way we are, are built and the way Cleveland is built, um, They've got an edge there, so our guards really have to get back into the play. And uh, it's not enough if you look and you see somebody has Tristan Thompson boxed out one-on-one. -on -one. That's not enough. Our guards got to go back and crack down and, and put another body on him. And same with Love. And um, did a better job of that in the second half. Tim in the back right. 
Tim Reynolds with the Associated Press. Steve, to kind of keep going on the first half for a second. Given the way that Steph and Clay had shot, I know KD hit the big three late in the half, but how fortunate did you feel going in, going in only down, I think, six? What it yeah, was? we were we, we felt very uh, fortunate to, to only be down six. Uh, I think we were down 12 early in the game, and they were getting every rebound, and, and we couldn't make a shot. So, you know, Kevin, Kevin was the story in the first half just keeping us in the game, and then he was the story in the second half as well, uh, closing it out. Second to last row in the back. Coach Logan Murdoch Barry at News Group. We talked about Javel a little bit in there, but you know he hasn't played this much since I think the uh, San Antonio series. What has he been for you guys? Not only in this game, but how has he been? You know when he hasn't been playing and um, and all that. Yeah. No, he's been he's been great, just like um, the the rest of the guys. I mean, uh, we've got a, a team full of guys who understand that sometimes their number will be called, sometimes it won't. You know, Zaza has been tremendous throughout the the postseason. In terms of being a leader and, and keeping guys on edge, keeping them motivated, and Javel's been in and out of the lineup. You know, he started against the Spurs the whole uh, series in the first round and didn't play much the next two, uh, but he stayed ready and he got his work in with the rest of the guys uh, during those those weeks, kept his conditioning up, and he's giving us a huge lift now. Anthony in the back. Anthony Slater with The Athletic. Steve, right I was just wondering if, if the way the right. Durant uh, rebounds, especially early in the game, indicates to you what type of night he's going to have. I think he had seven first quarter rebounds and, and was active on the glass. It's always a good indicator. You know, when he's active defensively and, and on the glass, it's a good good indicator that he's going to have a big night. And uh, his, his overall game tonight was, I mean, ridiculous. The, the, the passing, the rebounding, the scoring. Um, and... It wasn't just the number of points. It was. It seemed like every time we needed a bucket, he he got it for us. Tom, last one in the back. Tom Reed, the Athletic. Uh, Steve, again in game, in in game, just like in game two, it seemed LeBron got his triple double, but it seemed like you guys really made him work for everything he got tonight. Can you uh, talk? And you threw a lot of bodies at him. Yeah. Can you talk about the the way that he you played against him? And did you think that he kind of wore down there toward the end? I don't think he wore down, but it, it definitely helped us to have Andre back tonight and uh, have another body on him. It helped us stay fresher. I thought that was the big difference. You know, LeBron's going to do what he does every single night. We know that. Uh, but having Andre out there for 20 plus minutes gave uh, KD a little bit of a rest and gave Draymond a little bit of a rest and Clay. And uh, so I think we were able to stay fresher over the course of the game with, uh, with Andre back.